Jodie Comer, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon looked ready for action as they prepared for the premiere of their new movie The Last Duel on Friday. The Killing Eve star, 28, was a vision in an elegant textured top with a black skirt as she attended the photo call via water taxi with the Hollywood heavyweights, aged 48 and 50 respectively, at the Venice Film Festival. The Ridley Scott directed historic epic is set to premiere at the 73rd annual event and just hours before the red carpet spectacular, the famous trio attended the glissy photo call in front of press from all over the world. Set in 14th century France, the film follows Jodie's character Marguerite de Carouges after she is sexually assaulted by her husband's best friend. Her husband Jean, Matt, challenges his friend Jacques, Adam Driver, to a state-sponsored trail by combat after she confides in him. They believe the battle, the last lawful duel in French history, will determine by God's hand whether or not Marguerite is telling the truth. In a still from the film, Jody is seen on horseback wearing black robes with a high collar and a dark brown hood. The star also sported a dark grey patterned bodice while her locks appear to be dyed blonde for the role. Matt sports metal armor and a bloodied face in his still as his character takes part in a battle scene. The film is told from the perspectives of each of the three characters, with Jodie telling Variety the movie will challenge audiences' preconceived ideas of the role women had in society during that period. She said, I think, for me, what was the most interesting, thing, about this script, first and foremost, was the opportunity to give this woman a voice. Aside from her movie career, Jodie has admitted she's struggling to say goodbye to Killing Eve as the show draws to a close. The Emmy Award winner has played Villanelle since 2018, who becomes obsessed with Sandra Oh's MI6 Agent Eve. Speaking to NBC, she admitted she has been feeling emotional about the show coming to an end saying, I had a little moment where I saw the clapperboard and I had a kind of lump in my throat. When asked if she's already mourning the loss of her iconic character, Jodie answered, Not yet, because I cannot let myself. I have two months left, of filming it is like a marathon, she explained. If you are at the start you cannot think of the finish. Not that I have ever run a marathon, the actress quipped, before teasing the plotline of Killing Eve's final season. We have definitely got off to an exciting start, Jody said. I think now, because we know it's the final season they are definitely pushing Balmadies especially with Villanelle. She continued, where we open with her, Villanelle, is totally bonkers and brilliant. I hope people finally enjoy it when it hits the screen. It was revealed in March that Killing Eve's much-anticipated fourth season will air on television next year. It comes after the season 3 finale drove viewers wild when Villanelle and Eve stood back to back on London Bridge and agreed to walk away and never look back. However, in the final moments of the episode both Villanelle and Eve turned back around to look at each other, suggesting the two characters might end up together. More videos 1, 2, 3 Watch video and TA, Harry and Meghan's interview with Oprah included in TV Roundup Watch video Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby accept NTA for this morning Watch video Kate celebrates her NTA's win, saying it's for everyone Watch video who? Ma Yajama appears to mispronounce Bruce Forsyth's name watch video viewers call out Jennifer Aniston's attitude on the one show watch video I can't hold a drumstick, Phil Collins reveals declining health watch video Usain Bolt was left speechless when Jay-Z introduced him to Beyonce watch video Netflix releases new trailer for upcoming Diana, 
the musical watch video The Matrix Resurrections lands in cinema for December 2022 watch video countdown loser sulks about goodie bag and compares it to Nan's gift watch video Will Ost Possession Southgate reacts to draw against Poland watch video move over, spot. Take a look at this rideable robot unicorn.